YouTube, what's up? It's your girl here, Makara, kicking it. About to tell a story. It's your girl, Makara, from Cougar's Closet. How we feeling tonight? So, um, I pre-shuffled the cards before. I had put some sage on them to get rid of and um, the negative energies. I'm about to tell a story. Whose story I'm about to tell, I have no idea. We'll see here in one minute. The cards have already been pre shuffled. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. All right. So with the first card I pulled is Ten of Cups. Um, with the Ten of Cups, there looks like there is either a celebration or there is about to be some type of celebration of some kind. Um, who am I reading for tonight? What are we celebrating? Somebody um, looks like to me that they probably have gotten some good news. Um, they got, you, you have 10 cups. So um, maybe one or more, a couple of your cups, uh, some prayers have been answered, something that you have been waiting on for a long time, or maybe something that you have been praying for for a long time, or something maybe uh, is something that you thought you you've prayed uh over and over again and your prayers were um unanswered so you thought and maybe um something comes up and uh your your prayers are being answered i don't think um this is something that has happened all of a sudden i think uh this is someone uh a family a couple a partnership or something to that nature where someone uh, has really been working hard and now hard work pays off. It could, it could be anything. Um, you, you could uh, moved up to a higher position at work. Um, maybe you started your own business. Um, maybe um, you won the lottery. It could be anything. Whatever it is, it's um, some extremely good news that you have um, coming to and it is worth celebrating all right the the next card I pull is four of wands so with the four of wands um, this looks like it's going to be a pretty good reading um, with the four of wands I see a lot of wands in the ground which tells me that someone um, is now embarking up on stability um, like I said, with this uh, good news that came, maybe now whatever it is, it kind of tells me with these um, wands being the ground, maybe it's solid. Maybe the offer um, is solid. Uh, the deal is solid and it's sealed now. Um, there is no more uh, negotiation. We're past negotiation. We're at the point now where everything, paperwork is done. Um, buildings are chose, uh, whatever, it, maybe there's been a big investment and uh, this was a part of it to, to uh, get your cup, your ten of cups or whatever. Maybe whatever we're celebrating is uh, the beginning of something that is yours now. Um, no more worrying about if the deal is going to go through or um, if you had the... Uh, the right amount of credit that it took or whatever it is, is with these wands being stuck in the ground here, something's telling me that we are off to a good start and it's solid. The paperwork is done. The building is bought. Something to that nature. All right. The next card I pull is the judgment card. And... Like I said, whatever it is, I believe it's a celebration. Um, as you can look here, there's uh, an angel 
in the sky above that's blowing the trumpet like they are announcing they are um declaring this this dream um if it hasn't came true it's about to come true and uh they are giving praise and they are giving praise and they are celebrating um in 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 the universe in the heavens before um they let this prayer come down is it's officially yours it's, it's been um announced as yours it's, it's been proclaimed in yours it's been blessed in your name and uh that the angels above are celebrating because they know they are about to um release this gift to you whatever this gift is it's about to come down but not before they celebrate first next card i pulled was the strength card so um with this being said uh this tells me whoever that i am talking to that had these um cups filled and that are having these cups filled um this wasn't uh easy for you i don't know if maybe you know like i said it is it's something worth celebrating um did, did you get a house? Did you get a, 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 a building for your business or something? I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's happy times. And um, whoever you are, um, this this offer or this uh, this thing you've been praying on, it, it hasn't been easy. You, you've been delayed. Uh, you had to have strength um, to to deal with this because maybe, you know, um, you, you tried whatever it was, you know, a few times, you know, uh, maybe you um, proposed a couple of business deals in the beginning and they got turned down. Um, maybe you uh, tried to apply for uh, big loans in the past, you know, uh, dealing with this uh, business or, or title of entrepreneurship and they got shot down. So um, this this right here tells me that uh, to get to where you are now, I hope y'all can see this card. It, it wasn't easy. You know, um, you had a lot of things against you. You had a lot of reasons uh, to stop. Um, whoever I'm reading for tonight, I feel like um, in this journey that uh, you've been on to, to get where you are now, you you have been told no a lot of times and you kept on having to go back to the drawing board but the main um important thing was was that you didn't give up and um you kept hearing no but the no's didn't deter you they just made you grow uh stronger they just made you grow weaker they just made you get wiser and um you weren't giving up without a fight until you got what you wanted and um i get a feeling here it, the the road wasn't easy there was dust blowing everywhere you was you was always getting told no um just, just glancing at whatever you were going for with the naked eye um it looked like you weren't going to be able to get it but um you didn't pay attention to that, you know, and you took your um, all of the no's and all of the things that people said you couldn't do all of the non -sayers. Uh You you kind of chalked that up to the game, you know, and uh, you had to have a lot of strength to get where you are. The next card I pull was the hermit. Yep, so that's uh, in conjunction with what I said about the strength card. Uh, there was, I hope you guys can see this. Uh, there were um, embarking on this project and, and getting things going in your favor, getting the wheels to turn it, and um, having strength to deal with this. Uh, there was there was some dark nights here. Uh, I got a feeling um, whatever we're celebrating here, it really didn't come easy. Um if you look, there's there's a guy standing here, or it could be a lady, um, but they're standing in the dark. But however, even in the midst of uh, the darkness, um, there was light, which means there was hope. Um, there was cause for you to keep going and not to give up. There was so many times you could have gave, given up, but you didn't. Um, this, this light right here is what helped you... Uh, 
never, you know, lose your way, what kept you on path, uh, what kept you focused, um, which also tells me that that was your inner being um, talking to you, um, telling, telling, uh, telling you, uh, you know, we can do this. You got it. Don't give up now. You know, you close, even though other people wouldn't tell you uh, how close you were. Other uh, investors or, or people of the business. Maybe, you know, it was uh, people um, that didn't want to see you with this stuff. The people, the main people that you uh, were trying to do business with, the people that you were trying to get the building from. Uh, maybe they were trying to stop you. You know, the people that you were trying to get a loan from. Maybe they were saying something to detour you and, and, and wanted you to go. Go on or something, but um, maybe you kept working on your credit, you know, kept doing different things that it took to get where you are, but you never did lose this light. So this also lets me know whoever you are, um, maybe your chakras are starting to open. You are start, you are now getting to the point where um, you are starting to listen to your higher being, to your inner self. Um, they were closed off and there was times before you thought you heard um, your inner uh, chakras uh, talking to you or, and trying to tell you something. But, you know, you might have kind of thought you were crazy or uh, maybe thought you were hearing things or kind of was just ignoring this. So um, whoever you, you are, this is telling me that your chakras are starting to open now. So, um your your voice, your higher being voice inside you, it speaks to you um, a little bit louder now. And you are uh, in the physical form more quiet now. You, you don't talk as much as you used to. You're, you listen real good now. And, and, and now since you have quieted down and toned down in, in, in the physical realm and in your uh, actions, uh, this light it is getting brighter and, and leading you uh, where you need to go. Uh, this inner voice is starting to get louder where you can hear it now. The next card I pulled is the moon. So um, with the moon, the moon uh, represents emotions. So um, this this could be a water sign, a, a Pisces or somebody. And like I said, it just bas basically piggybacks uh, off of what I've been saying. It, it's been um, an emotional ride for you. Uh, the Pisces represents emotions. And um, it, it's been, uh, you know, a ride for you where you kind of thought you were drowning sometime, you know, um, where... Uh, you felt like you didn't have uh, the su support system um, that that you should have had, or uh, uh, people um, that said they were going to be there for you. Uh, they 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 fooled you. They 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 weren't there for you, and um, this caused sleepless nights and caused you to go into heavy emotions. And um, whoever I'm reading for, maybe I have the feeling that. Uh, you had drawn into yourself, you had shut down because this is something, um, whatever was celebrating, this is something that you really, really wanted. So um, I think it's been an emotional time for you. Water sign. The next card I pull is the Three of Cups. So with the Three of Cups, it looks like to me here, there's a celebration going on. You know, um, who, who are these people? There's three cups here. Um, who, who is this that you're celebrating with? I'm telling y'all, this is a good reading tonight. Um, is this uh, a, a, a partnership? Is it, is it three females coming together to uh, open up a hair salon or something? Uh, open up a, a nail eye, eyelash bar? Or something. Who am I reading for here tonight? Uh, is, is it a family business? Is it is it a cooking business? What was? It? Uh, I got some feminine energy here. Uh, maybe it's you know some women coming together um, with a project. Like I said, uh, maybe it, it doesn't have to be, but maybe uh, it was it, it was some women that came together, you know, to open up a, a salon, uh, may open up a eyeball. Uh, eyebrow uh, bar or something. It's something going on with with a touch of feminine energy here where uh, 
these women are celebrating. What was it? Is it you that I'm speaking to? Uh, is it a massage parlor or something? This, this is making me think here that, uh, this is some feminine energy going on, you know, uh, with some ladies here that's been struggling to open up, uh, something, uh, is it some type of, uh, restaurant or something? Um, it's something that has to do with uh, women coming together, um, opening up something. Uh, is it a uh, lawyer, three female women getting together that um, that's opening up, a, got, got a chance to be able to uh, successfully open up a law firm? What, what is this? I have no idea. I don't know who I'm reading for, but this is uh, the energy that I'm getting tonight. It's a pretty doggone good energy tonight. All right. The next card I'll pull is the, the uh, Knight of Wands. And so with the Knight of Wands, um, I see here somebody is uh, springing into action here. Um, are we um, getting to the point now where we're almost uh, done with our with our deal, where we're uh, we're signing off uh, contracts now, uh, where we're um, we're in the muscle phase, whatever going on, because we springing into action here. So uh, are, are we getting ready to uh, have our grand finale? Are we getting ready to have our grand opening? Uh, what, what are we doing? Whatever it is, this is a lot of muscle here. This is this is running in. So we are running in to take care of uh, the business. Um what part of the business are, are we taking care of? Are we are we getting uh, logos uh, together? Whatever it is, um, we are springing into action to make sure everything is tied down and bolted down um, to our brand. The next card I pull is the Nine of Wands. And with the Nine of Wands... Um, this tells me that this whoever this person is that's um that has this business going or whatever um maybe in the midst of things uh you find a little kinks that need to be worked out uh it's it's nothing major it's nothing big it's nothing that's going to stop anything it's just like a few little nicks that need to be worked out nothing really to even do with um anybody else or nothing just a few little things on your end that maybe you need to do around the place as far as um maybe getting your equipment together um you know uh maybe making sure you have enough um seats maybe getting your flyers together or something it's, it's little it's little knickknack things that need to be taken care of but um I feel like you kind of got a little bit of nervous energy about it um thinking maybe something could go wrong or something but it's it's nothing to even worry about on those lines it's nothing that the lenders can say uh that deal is already done and if it's not it's about to be uh there's nothing um you know, uh, the, the property people can say, you know, the money has already went over. Everything is in your name and you have the keys. I think this is just a, a little bit of worrying on your end about, um, whoever I'm speaking to, you are uh, a perfectionist. And, um, if anything, I mean, like if anything is out of place or if, uh, anything is not done, like in a timely, uh, timely manner, like you will kind of like just uh, quirk out. Like you like to stay um, on schedule. Uh, you you don't like a lot of change that you're not aware of. So these, uh, I just got a feeling there's a little nervous energy going on um, around you. But like I said, it's, it's nothing major. It's just a little... Um, nervous energy on your ends are you thinking about uh your your partners that uh your partners uh that you're in business with are, are you worried that maybe um they forgot to do something or um you know getting uh 
keys to the building or it's something getting alarm set or something. It's whatever this uh this thing is that's got kind of got you uh nervous. Uh, you're kind of self inflicting it. I think you're just one of those ones to where um you you worry a little bit more than what you need to. Knight of Pentacles. Told you everything was okay. And so with the Knight of Pentacles, um, this tells me that um, a little bit down the road here, maybe I'll give it about like a week or two or something, like um, this, this nervous energy is going to uh, raise up off of you. Um, and, and, and more passion. And I could be reading for a fire sign right here, a Sagittarius, or a, 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 like I said, a fire sign. Um, uh, you, you, it, like this red cloak, you see him in that red cloak, that's a fire, fire sign. So um, I got a feeling that here, I say you're nervous right now about these little things that I was saying that's, uh, that's really nothing about ner being nervous about, but uh, red represents passion to me. And I think, uh, I guess in about two or three weeks, see, I think you're in a stage where um, you can't believe uh, this is really real. Um, you can't believe this is coming true. So you have a lot of nervous energy wondering, you know, what could go wrong. But um, in about two or three weeks, you know, after a while, I think after you get used to the fact, you know, that you have the keys and putting your key in the door, what, whatever this whatever this thing is that, that has came to light or that's becoming to light. Um, I think that nervous, this uh, Knight of Pentacles, this fire sign is going to chase uh, this nervousness away. So, so watch the timeline here. Um, if I'm reading for somebody and you are nervous right now about uh, little glitches or, or what could go wrong, give that uh, about two to three weeks. And um, you're going to notice after a while that nervousness is going to start uh, being com uh, being replaced with uh, compassion. Um with with heating self uh expressed uh feelings and moments about um this thing whatever this thing is that um you are celebrating all of the fear it is going to go away and it is going to start soaking in that uh whatever this thing is it's yours uh like i said a, a house uh a business uh salon uh lawyer, uh, firm. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I'm just throwing some things out there, you know, uh, what it could be. Um, like I said, uh, new homeowner is something that's been bothering you for a while and you, you, you almost gave up on it, but, uh, it came back around. So, so, um, with the nine of wands, uh, things were already, uh, in your favor going good but but you are uh self-reflecting this this curiosity energy this uh this nervousness energy this um what if energy that's what's going on today but about two or three weeks give it you'll be straightened out on that the next card i pulled is the heart of swords and that's re what reflects what i've been um talking about um you, you you are finding this, whatever this is, uh, too good to be true. You, you've had your heart broken so many times, you know, um, just for no reason or, or, or people uh, being grimy to you for no reason or people uh, cutting you out of things uh, for no reason. Um, and and I, I don't feel like... Uh, Cause, cause this, 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 right as of now, this is nothing um, about love. This is, this is about business, whatever this is, or, or, or some type of uh, financial business, whatever this is about. This is, this is nothing about love so far. So these heartbreaks haven't been in the love department. They, they've been more in the uh, department of, of taking risk. Um, to become someone or our risk to to get something going uh 
maybe you know you've had a couple of uh partners before and maybe they ran out with the money on you and skipped town or something or maybe um you know they cut you out of it and didn't give you your money back or maybe they gave you your money back uh but cut you out of it some something um here has went on uh within the past where you have taken some heartbreaks and this this tells me this three of swords that this this isn't your first attempt whatever we're celebrating this isn't your first attempt of trying to get this thing going this is the first time that it fell through next card I pull queen of wands and with the queen of wands like I said we made it I am looking at uh, a woman here. Uh, this this could be a Leo here, um, as you see. Um, she's she's draped in gold, and I I see some lion heads right here. She's the queen, and um, she has on a crown. You know, she's the queen. Um, this tells me maybe I'm reading for a Leo as well, a, a Pisces and a Sagittarius, and a Leo, and um, th this here is. This woman is established now, and I, like I said, the two or three weeks have passed, and the nervous energy is gone, and now um, you are more um, into your energy now. Um, you are more confident now about this business, um, about this partnership. Um, you, you are something um, has come to you, and let you know uh, that you have done the right thing this time. You know, uh, in the past, um, you hadn't been sure, but I think um, between here and there, uh, you are going to start seeing little by little, little uh, dribbles and drafts uh, of, of things uh, representing uh, security to you. All right, the next card I pulled is the hair font and like I said the hair font th this this is about money th this is about a uh, partnership th this is about uh, investing th this is the whole deal here th this is a, is about a business plan I am for sure about it this is about money this is this is not a love reading um, this is not a, a, a healing reading or none of that. This, this here is about money. Next card I pull is the lovers. Okay. Um, now this is where I'm going to shake things up because, uh, the lovers could mean, uh, a lover doesn't have to um it can mean uh, a a lover of the business uh, a, a a lover uh of the finances a, a lover of life um it, it could be um in this case uh i don't really think it could but in this case i don't really think it means uh a lover here as in you know uh, a girlfriend or boyfriend or a husband and a wife or another half I think um, you this means you are a lover of uh, whatever this is that uh, you've come in in contact with uh, you, you love uh, the way this business is flowing you you found your love because you you could already be married right now and you could already have a, a girlfriend right now I don't think that's what's going on in this case because I haven't had any cards leading up to anything about love I, I think that this whoever you are um this is telling me that you are going to love the business um you are going to love what you do whatever we're celebrating here you are going to fall in love with it and you uh you're going to see uh, different ways and avenues to get other things uh, going. Um, this just confirms that uh, you love what you do. 
And the last card I pull is the King of Swan, King of uh, Wands, which tells me, like I said, this doesn't have to be um, a, a woman's energy. It, it could be a woman's energy, and it could be male energy because I I, I pull the King and the Queen, and 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 it could. Um, very well be a partnership between a, a husband and a wife um it is is there a couple out there that's starting a business a, a husband and a wife uh she, she's the queen and uh, he's the king um maybe she does the the paperwork aspect of this and uh maybe he does you know just throwing something out there the the cooking aspect uh may, maybe she orders the materials uh maybe he sells them uh, it could be a partnership here um, between these two. So um, it could be a man or a woman, or it could be both. It could be a, a, a couple, you know, uh, a couple that bought a house, uh, a couple uh, that bought a business. Uh, 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 it, it could represent a lot of things. Uh, a, a couple, you know, that that uh, wanted to come together and get some type of uh car ship together, uh, uh, get some type of a uh, homeless shelter going. I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of trying to fetch out there, um, a, a, about like what this could be about. So, um, I have no idea, but all I know is that, um, th there's a dream. If it hasn't came forward yet, it's about to come of, um, something that you thought, um, you weren't ever going to see, and, um, it's here now, so, um, if I am reading for you or something, please drop a comment and let me know, thank you, Cougar's Closet, Mwah.